Hey everybody, <clears throat> Live Farmers M3, first thing in the morning, and uh, the storm is about to hit, let me put this a little bit more, Let's see if I can get this a little bit more, the storm is about to hit Florida, and it looks like it's coming up here to uh, Columbia, South Carolina, I know we're going to catch the ass end of it. You know, us, Georgia, we used to it. Us Southerners, we used to it. It's hurricane season, and this is the first one of the season that's uh, being reported anyway. So what I'm doing right now, I'm actually going to do a video. I, I, I don't think I've done a full video on this of how I get ready for your every day every year storm normal situation not the apocalypse if you getting ready for the apocalypse you need to drop to your knees and pray that's how i prepare for that so i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about is everyday natural disasters that happen every single day somewhere on this planet so if you guys can bear with me I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing this morning okay what what I'm doing now is with all my gear that I have and the way I have it set up the best thing to do for anybody that stays ready for a, a, a situation like this one of the things you want to remember to do is rotate rotate your stuff rotate your stock if you got food don't just always just let it sit somewhere um waiting for the end of time to come before you use it no go ahead after a certain amount of time you know one one time i, I kid this true story i had a taste for some tuna fish on my salad i wanted some tuna fish a can of tuna fish on my salad we ain't got no tuna fish you know where i got tuna fish at i got it in one of my buckets so i went in one of my survival buckets and i took a can of tuna fish out of there so this morning i'm going through it all i'm like hmm i'm missing a couple cans of tuna fish oh that's right see what i was supposed to do was replenish it immediately some things you can leave alone like your lighters and stuff like that but there's some stuff you need to rotate out your food rotate out those beans rotate out that rice because you don't know everybody always say oh it's, it's good forever now nah, i know it ain't i don't believe that anyway so i rotate my stuff out on a regular basis if I think about it and have the notion I got the hankering for something in that in that kit, I eat it and then I put it back. Sometimes you don't feel like running out to get nothing and doing nothing, but that's what I do. So right now what I'm looking at is I cannot believe this, but it's true. My brother-in-law came by one day and he said, uh, you know, I'm going fishing. I'm about to go get some line. Just don't feel like messing around all the way and mess around at walmart and all the it was around the holiday and everything i said man i got some line in the garage and i remember i used all my line up to re-spooling my poles but i got line in my kit and i keep fishing line in my kit i'm gonna go over that a little later so what i'm doing right now before i make i'm going live before i do that I'm going to go in here and get my fishing line and uh, show you guys how I do what I do. All right. All right. Leah Farmer 73. I hope you come back and hang out with me. I love you and I'm out. Good morning.